I looked at your journal. What? The things you wrote. You're not well. You need help. I need your help. Right now. I I'll help you, okay? But you gotta promise me you'll see someone when this is over. Sure. Promise me. I promise. Relax. What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Who is Logan Chen? Linda! Don't you fucking lie to me. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the steel mill, back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen. And what I could do about it what I'd have to leave behind. You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. You're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No. You won't be straight with me. Fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old. But you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? <laughs> 